What's up, guys? It's Mercifies here. Got another lesson for you today in our Java tutorial series, Learning Java. Um, today, I'm going to be picking up right off from the last lesson, which was uh, the problem with rounding and uh, casting to an int as rounding. So the problem with uh, using with casting to an int as rounding is when you cast a double to an int, the decimal value is not taken into it's not taken into uh, count. So let me let me show you. So we have int a equals one. We actually that doesn't matter. This is what we want. We're gonna go one point five. Okay. So if we were to round this, this should theoretically round up. Well, system dot out dot print line. Then we're gonna cast it. So put the int and cast and then b. Compile. Print this or uh, compile this. Run it. As you can see, it rounded down to one. Now, so. So this is a problem, as you can see. There's a way to approach this to fix this rounding error. If you have a number that is a double and you want to cast it, you want to round it, cast it to an int, and then add 0.5. Now you might be thinking, well, how is this going to solve our problem? Oh, whoops. This has to be in its own thing. Okay. There we go. So you might be thinking, well, how does that solve the problem? How does adding 0.5 every time? If you have 1.6 and you add 0.5, even though it's going to be 2.1, casting it to an int is going to count it down. So in a sense, adding 0.5 is doing the rounding and the casting is a different pot process but this right here this code right here is how to round you might want to keep that in this class now we're gonna go down a little bit and uh, today we're gonna be doing some more of those math feet those math uh, functions methods whatever you want to call them I always get confused between functions and methods they're basically the same thing except for a method a function is something where it returns a value and a method is a uh, a method is something that does not return a value so it's a void I'm pretty sure or it's related to an object Java terminology can be a pain in the butt especially as you get more advanced in it but we'll We'll talk about that in the future. Let's not worry about that right now. Right now, we're going to be worrying about a couple more uh, features that we have in Java. We have the math dot square root. So we can find the square root of something. We're going to find the square root of 144. Square root is 12.0. So you have the square root function. Give me a second. Opening up the list. If you're wondering what this is, this uh, giant thing in this, this is uh, all of my classes that I was using when I uh, was learning Java for the first time. This is this is one project. I have a couple other projects, but these are all the classes that I used. So we're gonna open up math practice. Ah shit. Okay. I'm gonna go over a couple other ones. Uh we have math dot apps which is your absolute number. So we have, let's say, negative 6 will come out as positive 6. 
And then we have what else? Oh, another good one to uh, memorize. Math. Math pi is pretty basic. Math.pi is, is how you get uh, pi number, e for natural number. But we're going to go for math.max. And this compares two numbers and then returns the value of the greater number. So we're going to go with 10 and 17. And it's going to retrieve us 17. 12. 0, 6, 17. 12, 0. I don't know why that. Came up as 0. Why did that come up as 0? I want to know that. Oh, 12.0. Wow. I'm dumb. All right. We're just going <laughs> to. We're just going to blow that but blow by that we don't we don't have to worry about that but yeah that's all we're going to go over today those are the rest of the math functions um, and how to fix your rounding problems that's all i got today look for my less my next lesson subscribe comment favorite like do what you got to do i'm out